Hi, I hope this finds you safe and well. I'm Mrs Hamshaw, I'm head of the P department here at Royal Marsh Community School and I'd just like to take this opportunity to share a short video uh, which will hopefully answer any questions that you might have regarding PE here at Royal Marsh. First of all, uh, we have six members of the PE team, including myself. We have Mr Duckworth, Mr Baker, Mr Knott, Mrs Shaw and Mrs Corkridge, all of which you'll be meeting throughout this video. Expectations in PE, um, as you can see down the right hand side, and I'm sure you've seen this before, is the Royal Marsh way. And a big one in PE um, is we work hard and never give any less than our best. Um, and that's really important in PE um, as every single lesson, no doubt you will make mistakes and mistakes is is a positive okay because that's how we learn so working hard and giving 100% in every lesson stay motivated try, trying and like it says they're never giving any lesson your best is what we endeavor to do the last point on there is we are equipped to learn now what I mean by that is our PE kit now compulsory PE kit um, at Royal Marsh looks like this. So you will have to have a pair of shorts and a t-shirt, uh, both of which are the same for both boys and girls. Um, also on there, as you can see, we have, and we introduced this last year, are our PE leggings and we have um, tracksuit bottoms, both of which have the RCS logo on. So if you wish to um, substitute your shorts for these, you have to make sure you have the Royal Marsh uh, leggings or tracksuit bottoms. And then additionally, you can have your hoodies for girls or you can have the three quarter zip tops, which are for the boys. Um, in addition to this, you need a change of black socks and a pair of trainers. Now, again, um, as I've said, uh, we will go out in all weathers um, and on the top field, it does get quite muddy. So if you can have a pair of football boots, um, I would recommend having football boots as it does get quite muddy and can get quite slippy up on the top field. Here we've got some former students modelling the PE kit. Okay, and then to finish from me, um, there's a quote just down there at the bottom. There are no secrets to success. It's a result of preparation, hard work and learning from failure. I look forward to seeing you all in September. Have a good summer. Hi there, my name is Mr Duckworth and uh, I'm just going to talk to you about what you may do over the course of year seven when you come to Royal Marsh in September. Now what your PE programme may look like. As a PE department, our priorities in PE is to deliver a range of fun and engaging activities. And in terms of that, you can expect to have you know, activities such as netball, football, athletics, gymnastics, dance, rugby, outdoor activities such as kayaking and climbing, and obviously there's, there's many more activities that we do as well. Now, as an example of a, a, a PE programme, you know, looking at that, you might think, wow, there's lots of things going on there. But if I just highlight a certain group there, which runs across the row, um, that group there is a typical boys group that, that may do rugby, badminton, football, fitness, athletics and cricket. Whereas your girls group uh, looks as, as though they're doing netball, dance, gymnastics, fitness training, athletics and tennis. Now, obviously, within the girl group, girls group, you might include some rounders in there. Uh, you might end up doing some orienteering as a bit of an outdoor. You might do a little bit of climbing. Uh, and in the terms of the boys group there, you might do some basketball, which might be something a little bit different as well. Um, so a lot of things there that, you know, you might be able to do. And uh, just an example of what you might do there in terms of your, your group, I suppose. And if you look at the bottom, uh, we do have a homework program that runs, runs alongside what you do in lessons. And it's more mainly attached to health and fitness. So there you can see we've got warm-ups and muscles and components of fitness. Those homeworks are set each half term. Um, obviously, we, we accept them on paper, we accept them on, on, on computer and things like that. So um, just something to there be aware of in terms of when you come to PE. Uh, it's not just a practical subject, we do theory aspects as well. 
Now with that, we have rewards in PE. And as you can see in the picture there, we've got a group of students there that have been sort of rewarded for two separate uh, initiatives that we run. The first one is the Shooting Stars Award. That's linked into homework, which I've just mentioned there. Uh, how that works is that each teacher highlights an outstanding piece of homework completed uh, by the students from their group. Now, obviously, with that homework, we'd expect um, great presentation, good con uh, content, and obviously, we know there that that student spent a, a good amount of time on there, put a lot of effort into it, uh, and it's presented really well. A second uh, sort of initiative, I suppose, and rewards program that we do is something called an ABC award, where again, the teacher selects one student from their group that has shown the following attributes in that unit of work. So they've approached their lessons with outstanding attitude towards learning. They've had outstanding behavior in all of the lessons and have shown outstanding commitment to their learning. Now, obviously, we get a lot of students that show this on a week-to-week -week basis, so we have to just select one. So it's up to that student to have shown it beyond what any other students have done. Uh, okay, so it can be difficult at times for, for teachers to pick one, but again, that's the rules that we, we sort of go by, and it, it pushes everybody to that highest point uh, of being outstanding. So with that, both awards are given out termly and a letter and a certificate are sent home to parents so to share that with parents but we always we always put a, a photo on the website as well to recognize in the community um, what our students are doing in PE okay and it's a really important aspect for us in PE that we reward students for their hard work uh, in terms of you know showing what they're doing in lessons by lessons okay so i hope that's given you a little bit of uh, insight in terms of what you're going to do and how we reward you in pe uh, and again i can't wait to meet you and make sure you stay safe over the summer and we'll see you soon Bye -bye. hello my name is mr Knott, and i coordinate outdoor education activities at raw marsh school Outdoor education and the Raw Marsh Way are closely linked. We expect you to take risks and rise to the challenge. We also expect you to make mistakes and learn from them. Most importantly, we support others around us. While you're at Raw Marsh, you will get chances to take part in activities up at our water sports centre at Ollie. This will include kayaking, sailing and canoeing. You will also get a chance to take part in land-based activities. These will include climbing on our climbing wall in the sports hall and to our other partner schools. You will also get a chance to take part in the Duke of Edinburgh Award, mountain walking and archery. I look forward to meeting you all in September. Have a great summer and stay safe. Hi, I'm Mrs Hawkridge and I teach P and Dance. I'm here today to speak to you about a couple of the enrichment activities that we offer. The first one's Movement Evening. Now I'm sure you've all heard about Movement Evening and probably a number of you have already participated in some of our shows. These evenings are centred around gymnastics, dance, cheerleading, aerial and singing. Uh, they're a fantastic opportunity to showcase all your talents. The hard work starts around October when we begin rehearsals and then in January it is auditions where you come and perform and we choose the best ones to perform in Movement Evening. Movement Evening itself is in February and March and is performed over three nights. Our next movement, Movement Evening will be our 20th anniversary. Next, I'd like to speak to you about the ski trip. Again, we try and run this annually depending upon numbers. Uh, for the last few years, we've been to a place called Folgarida in Italy. It's a fantastic resort. We've always had really good snow and everyone's had a brilliant time. Now, this is available to everybody of all abilities, right from beginner up to advanced. There will be something to suit you all. For those of you who are worried about having never been before, we do take a trip to Escape at Castleford for a bit of an introductory session before we go. Look out for me coming and presenting in your assemblies in around September, October time to launch this event. It is a first come, first served and numbers are limited. So make sure you get yours in quick if you'd like to go. 
I look forward to seeing you in September. Have a fantastic summer. Look after yourselves. Hey everyone, my name is Mrs Shaw and I'm one of the PE teachers here at Royal March. I'm just going to talk you through very quickly some of the things we do outside of your lessons. So we are very proud of any of your achievements, as is the Royal March way. One of our big events that we do every year is we host a sports dinner. This event is normally held at the uh, New York Stadium. We give out lots of awards for everyone who's taken part in extracurricular throughout the year. It's a fantastic event and something that all our sporting stars look forward to throughout the year. As well as that, we also ask you all to take risks and rise to a challenge. And anything that's going on that little bit different, that little bit extra, we will get involved in it as a PE department. So that could be our sponsored walk that we do every year. Just a few pictures there to show you. We do sports relief, which comes around every couple of years. That's normally you'll find us running our sport relief mile in Rose Hill Park. This year, we took part in the Santa Dash for the Rotherham Hospice. And then a, another event that happened at the Rather Bella Country Park was the Colour Smash, which was last year. So again, anything that's a little bit different that we get invited to, that we can have a go in, you can rise to a challenge, to, um, get involved physically. We like to push you out of your boundaries and give you the opportunity to try something new. Hopefully we'll see a lot of you getting involved in that when we see you in September. Hi everyone, Mr Baker here. I just want to take a minute of your time just to go through some of the extracurricular clubs that we run uh, within the PE department at Royal Marsh Community School. I'm hoping that once you start and when you get to school that you're really going to throw yourself into some of the extracurricular clubs that we run. Throughout the year we run lots and lots of different clubs before school, at break times. The majority of clubs do tend to take place after school though. Hopefully throughout the year that there'll be something there for everybody to get involved in. Now, throughout the year, we run lots and lots of different clubs. It changes from half term to half term. So clubs such as football, rugby, netball, basketball, badminton, table tennis, cricket, rounders, fitness suite, climbing club, dance and gymnastics. There's lots and lots that's always going on in the PE department at Royal Marsh Community School. Hopefully, we will get to see lots of you as soon as you arrive at school, throwing yourself in, joining, taking part, meeting new friends, and also possibly representing some of the many teams that we do have in school.